In this video, we will start talking about the topic of limit of detection. So let's look at an example first. Here, we can see a LCMSMS chromatogram of a commonly used pesticide, carpentazine. Obviously, in this chromatogram, the peak is present, so we can say that the analyte is present. However, in some cases, the concentration of the analyte is very low, or not, uh, it's not present at all, so the, we can't see the peak as well. However, in some cases, the peak is very low, and we can't really decide whether uh, we can see the signal from the analyte, or this is just noise. So we need a parameter that would help us uh, determine objectively whether uh, the analyte is present. For this, we can use the limit of detection. So the purpose of limit of detection is first to correctly interpret the analysis result, and secondly, we can characterize the analysis method with it. It can show us how low uh, concentrations we can really see with this uh, analytical method. So let's look at the uh, definition of a limit of detection. IUPAC defines limit of detection as the uh, smallest concentration of analyte in the test sample that can be reliably distinguished from zero. Although this definition is broadly used, it is somewhat ambiguous. This ambigu ambiguity will be discussed in later videos. Also, in the following vid videos, we will discuss uh, the practical uh, approaches how to estimate limit of detection and other important aspects uh, of limit of detection.